Yo, what's up guys, Bandit Power here, and back with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about something different. I decided to change things up a little bit today and talk to you about something really interesting I found out. If you have an old PC that is running really crappy, maybe like a Windows XP or Windows Vista, consider this. All you have to do is buy a USB stick with less than 8 gigabytes, and well, that's really all you need. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you how to boot Chromium OS on your USB on an old computer. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before I start this video, I'd like to thank all my subscribers for my channel. I have grown in 30 subscribers since my last video, and I have put every single one on this board. So if you want to be on this board too, you know what to do. Go to the bottom, click that subscribe button, and turn on notifications. Without further ado, let's go. So we are on our computer. What we're going to do is simply go to our browser and add this Chrome extension. The extension is called Chrome Recovery Utility and will also install as an app. What you want to do is install that extension right now, but this is only one of the first steps as there are a lot more steps that come next. So if you have a Google account, that's perfect because that's what you're going to be needing. Now that we have added the app, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your home screen and, well, wait for it to add. As you can see, it will start downloading, but what will also happen is that the Chrome Recovery Utility logo will pop up on your home screen, so it's best to see it. Now we are going to wait for it to install. As you can see, our CRX file is installing and will install on our home screen. For Chromebook users, this also works because this can be installed on the web store still as an application. So what it will open up in is apps and we will be able to open our Chromebook recovery utility, which is what we'll be needing. Now that we've opened up our extension, we're not done yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to search up cloud ready because those are the people who make Chromium, and we are going to install the disk image. Simply search up Chromium install, and what it will come up with is a link of results that take you. Please do not ins install an older version of Chromium as it could be unstable and there's really no point because what it does is it does a mandatory updates and checks for updates before you enter the Chromium home screen. So I really wouldn't suggest it and well just install the newer version. Now we're going to go to neverware.com, which are the people who I think make this, and we are going to get our free home edition download. There are different editions you can install, like, like work edition, business edition, and home edition. We will need to install our image ISO file before we can continue. And of course, we need a 8, eight GB or greater USB stick, which I have plugged in to my computer. So now we are going to install our 64-bit image, and as you can see, it is installing right down here. We are going to wait for it to install, as it can take a little while, as it is go takes up 1.0 GB. So I'll get back to you when it's finished. <laughs> Yeah. 
what you're going to do is plug it into your computer. If your computer has a USB port, that is a good sign and that it will work. Now as you can see, my USB is plugged in. So now what I am going to do is turn on the computer. Now as you can see, this is an HP, so I'm going to have to press a certain button to enter the boot menu. Sometimes it won't boot on at first, but what you'll have to do is best turn the power off right now and then restart it because a new USB has been entered. Now let's power it back on and press escape button for the boot menu. Escape ping can be used for HP users and F8 can be used for Sony users. Now as you can see I have four options. I can use ST35004188S, the HP DVD slot, the Realtek PXC, or the USB disk. I am obviously going to choose USB. Now this will take a while to load and if you did this correctly it will load in general. But what's going to happen now is that it's going to prompt me and take me right to Cloud Ready. And there you have it, Chromium OS on here. Now it has froze on me a couple times when I have booted up the USB. But the best thing to do is restart your computer and turn it back on. And if that still doesn't work, you might have to consider thinking of re rebooting your USB again and reinstalling the bin file. Now, for safety reasons, I can't show you my account, but when this boots on, I will show you the menu and what you can actually do with this thing. Did it? 